Okay, good day everyone. Our subject today is about PE in grade 6. We are now here in quarter 3, week 3 of our lesson. So the objectives and topics that we are going to discuss today are the following. Number 1, the history of Itik Itik dance. Analysis, analysis on the music use in Itik Itik dance. Execute skills in dancing Itik Itik. Okay, so for further information about this topic for today, let's continue. So here is the introduction of our lesson today. The Philippines has many popular folk dances which have evolved and changed as they have been passed down from generation to generation. Although a particular dance might be performed slightly different from one region to the next, it remains true to its roots. One of the popular dance in the Philippines is Itik Itik. So as you can see class in the picture, that is the one of the popular dance in the Philippines, which is the Itik Itik. And then uh, what do you think uh, is the, uh, the Itik Itik is about? The best description of the Itik Itik is that the steps mimic the way a duck as walks, as well as the way it splashes water on its back to attract a mate. Number 1. Their waddling and wiggling fired. The imagination of color for mind in a dance was created. The Itik Itik are brown ducks found in paddies. Though rice farming occupies most of the farmer's time, caring for ducks takes second attention. Sibonga is a town in the southeast part of Cebu known for its green fields and verdant hills. Okay, so the one of the folk dance in the Philippines which is the Itik Itik uh, can be found in the southeast part of Cebu which is the Sibonga. And it is the southeast part of Cebu known for its green fields and verdant hills. Number 3, Light and Springy. The dance is best interpreted by young boys and girls. It is by watching the lakaw or itik or what we call the duck walk that gave inspiration to create a duck dance called itik itik. In number 4, classification. Mimetic or Festival Ethnolinguistic Group Cebuano Place of Origin Cebonga Cebu Dance Culture Lowland Christian In number 5, Time Signature 3-4 Palful Music composed of two parts A, B Provided by the Rondalia String and Sample Itik Itik is a Philippine folk dance which is said to have been originated from the province of Surigao in Mindanao. It is a mimetic dance because its steps mimic or imitate the movements of a duck. A duck in Tagalog is Itik, which is where the names of the dance was taken. So as you can see in the picture that this kind of dance is a mimetic dance, which means uh, it steps mimic or imitate the movements of a duck. So this dance is just like the movements of a duck or in Filipino we call this as itik. Okay, so that's why we call this uh, dance or Philippine folk dance as itik itik. According to folklore, itik itik was created long ago by a young woman named Kanam who was the best dancer in Surigao. During a baptismal reception, Kanang was asked to dance and 
she improvises her dance, steps to mimic the way a duck walks, wades in water, and splashes water on its back to attract mates. So the folk dance or the Filipino folk dance itik itik was uh, named after kanang. Okay, and this kanang is the uh, the best dancer in uh, Surigao. So it's like what it, uh, told about this that she improvised her dance. So she was uh, imitated the way. A duck walks, wades in water, and splashes water on its back to attract a mate. So let's talk about now the costume and itik itik dance. Girls wear papadjong at balintawak style costumes, and boys wear barong or kamisa jet, kamisa de chino, and white trousers. Music is composed of two parts: A and B. Count 1, 2, 3, 2, A, measure. So, here is the uh, the costumes in wearing the itik itik dance. And, and the steps in counting uh, this dance is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And this is what we call uh, measure. And now about the formation. It is performed. As a ballroom dance, couples are scattered around the room. For demonstration, partners stand about 6 feet apart, girl at right side of partner when facing audience or front. One to any number of peers may take in this dance. So, I'm gonna tell you now what you're going to do to your self-learning module. So, these are the activities that you're going to answer. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. So, activity number one. So, you're going to answer this. You have to complete the word. Uh, you have to write the word to complete the sentences. Okay, so it has five items there. And then the next one is the activity two. So, the direction is about execute the second figure with your family. Read your dance and send it to your teacher. Okay, so you're going to uh, a record of your sample of your dance, the itik itik dance. Okay, so just follow the direction. So we have letter A, B, and C direction here for you to follow. What kind of uh, steps that you are going to do? Okay, thank you so much, guys, for listening. I hope you guys learned something from me. And God bless us all. Thank you so much.